Mel, good morning. Welcome to the show. Man, why don't you get off of, get off of what you're talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Greetings, Afro-America. Are you a victim of white racism in America today? How about black racism? Black racism? Yes. Oh. I'm racist myself. I, 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 I know. I have a little racism in Have you ever found yourself hating every iota of a cracker? Every last iota of a cracker. I hate it. Mel, 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 calm down. The people, the whites who are living today, are they responsible for what happened to you? We he get the real deal. And he back. You ever heard of Joe L? He black. Yeah, he black. <laughs> <laughs> Super chats. Super, Super chats. Oh, Joe L is back on Friday reading the Super Chat. And, and he is black. AP says, Jesse, when did Aunt Esther join the Arkansas Senate? <laughs> <laughs> also, legend that has it. That was Arkansas, it. not Kansas. Uh, she lived uh, in Arkansas. Oh, uh, they said Arkansas. Uh-uh. That's Arkansas. That's Arkansas, baby. That's not Arkansas. <laughs> That's what they put, AP. Oh, you put Arkansas? He put Arkansas. It's not Arkansas? Maybe he just messed up. He misspelled it? Maybe so. Oh, okay. Who stole yeah, the country? You black and slow. You black and slow. Oh, Jesse, my bad. That's right. I'm black and oh, slow. Man, we black and slow, man. I'm black and slow. So, <laughs> shit, I don't know. <laughs> I know somebody stole the country. You why, why can't you explain it? What's well, the relationship? Um, what is? Let me explain it for you. I've explained it a thousand times, but I'll do it one more for you because you're black and I know you're slow. But listen, and you're old. You sound old. But listen. Nick and Chris sound so proper. Uh, uh, let me, good morning, everyone. I know we need some ghetto up in here. Yeah, we need ghetto stuff. <laughs> Malkuth X with a diamond. We need black and slow stuff. <laughs> the, the chat is saying that I, that I spelled Arkansas wrong, but he put it here. He said Arkansas. He put A-R-K-A-N-S-A-S. That's his Arkansas. Not me. That's Arkansas, boy. I know, but he spelled it Arkansas is what How I'm spelled it? trying to pay. Look right here. He said A R K A N S A S. That's Arkansas. I know, but he spelled it Arkansas. That's how the world spells it. Oh, that's how it goes. <laughs> <laughs> he black. He black. Bad boys. Bad boys. What you gotta do? Yeah. What you gotta do when they come for you? You know what I He was on that show. <laughs> Were you on cops? I was on cops. <laughs> Are you serious? I was on cops. Why? I didn't know you were on what you got to do. Wow. Uh -huh. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Are you on your phone now? No. What you doing? Oh. I couldn't see Joel's face. Whenever you can't see a black man's face, you better check it out, see what's happening. Anyway, he black. But don't judge every book by its cover, especially when somebody calls. But you shouldn't be judging them. You just don't accept it. Oh, I, well, now I'm judging. I sure didn't act like Tyrone off the street. But the majority of those black women I wouldn't want to reproduce with <laughs> because they basically brought me down. So I want to, because of you, know, you being late, now I have to rush through my stuff. It's okay. Amazing. Black people screw you up every time. It's, it's sweet. But you seem like a nice guy. Short though. and sweet. And those black people make me sick to my stomach because of how they are. Like you said, they're lost. You're right about that. Are you a Christian? But no. Immoral, you're right about that. I mean, having babies out of wedlock and whatever, you're right about that. You have three kids out of wedlock? Yes. Kevin, are your kids with a white woman or a black woman? They're with a white woman. Chillins. If you're black, it's chillins. If you're white, it's children. But because you probably thought I was Caucasian. And then if you say it right, if you speak it properly, they'll say, oh, you just I trying know, to be white. <laughs> Not right, but white. Yeah, they don't say you try to be right. 
<laughs> they say you're trying to be white. White. Happy White History Month, Earl. You can stop all the bringing that nonsense to me. Earl, get it off your chest, sir. Happy White History Month. There you go again. You just don't learn, do you? Earl is black, by the way. I don't care about me. Yes, I am. And you shouldn't know that by now. You I said, don't know what you are. You <laughs> black. He black. I am extra black today. Because I'm black. He black. And, <laughs> and they're black, too. Wow. No, I am so black, I can not even see me this morning. <laughs> if you turn these lights out, the only thing you would see are my white teeth. Uh -huh. It seems, no, just your whole lips. Yeah, yeah. It's, thanks. What does Vaseline have to do with blackness and all that kind of crap? Ashy. Ashy. <laughs> Because you look ashy, <laughs> your arms are ashy, elbows. I have a friend who is light-skinned black. He almost looked white. And I noticed the other day he had chap white dry lips. Yeah. I'm like, what the? <laughs> and I knew that was the black in him. Yeah. Shout out, Ross. Shout out, Ross. Yeah, he rap about you. Better stop hating your mama. You better get up off the trauma. You know, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> White people don't need to tell us what to do. Why the Bible go to God trying to tell me what to do? <laughs> you don't tell black people what to do. We do what you want. White people just need to do what they want. You don't know what can of worms you just opened. <laughs> Somewhere, maze is stirring. <laughs> it's, I, I keep, the Sabbath, keep the Sabbath holy. I tell you, if you follow his law, you'll find a whole lot of things in there where you don't fit. Jesse, do you, <laughs> Jesse, do you, do you find, do you find it? It's is it a a a, a black thing? For, because I noticed like Earl and Mays, they'll be they'll be talking and then you'll talk too, and they'll just keep talking. I know. <laughs> no, it's I'm like not two keep conversations talking. going at once. Yeah, that is black. You said you don't understand. Oh, that's black. See, he's understanding stuff about us that he don't know. Oh I'm glad he's so glad he's using his brain. Slow down, lady. May don't have me to come in, up there. If you did, what you gonna do? Turn around and walk out the door just like you walked in it. Ooh. <laughs> Are all white people... Okay, ask me the question. Are whites the only racist people? No. Thank you. That's right. In the year with the truth, Maze. But are they biggest? Yes. Are they selfish? Yes. Do they try to rule everybody? Yes. I didn't ask you all that. Um, I'm giving you my opinion. That's not my and biblical they question. To stop. never ask a black man if you remember. We can't remember. <laughs> um, I'm not going to never forgive the white man the way they treated me in this country. Wow, that's unfortunate. They are wild. Okay, just, wow, they have nothing to do about it. The white man treated us for dickers. 400 years, 400 years, 400 years. <laughs> Amazing. I don't know why the black complained about growing up under the Jim Crow law. <laughs> <laughs> I had a hoot nanny of a time. <laughs> Grew up on a plantation in Alabama. Under the Jim Crow laws created by the Democrats. Black. As black, black as the ace of space, I am not an Afro-American, uh, African-American, whatever people call themselves. I am not an African-American. I don't have an Afro. I have an Amerifro. Amerifro. There are no African dogs beating in my dress. The American good is playing in my heart. As black as the of Spain, but 100% American. Thank God that I am a son of God, but American. 100% American. Right, but not black. I am black, but I'm not into the blackness. It does not make sense to identify with color. It's not normal. It's not logical. It's emotional. The the thing about Big Mama Mel, she didn't just suggest that you she eat not, healthy. She's the but, first lady but, of the United States. But Mel, you know what? You all be sued on. for calling her that. Hold but on, you, Mel. We all know you, you can't you you, uh, you can't do that. Cause uh, Robert, would you say that <laughs> it's ghetto if um, you know, Obama and uh, Michelle's daughter is at a concert and she's showing all kind of skin and flashing her. Her hip out, her butt cheek, her butt cheek out, no. and she's rolling all nope. around the ground and and nope. and, and smoking wild, pot. Did we see her smoking, smoking pot? pot? Yeah, 
pounding on the ground, nope. rolling on the ground, acting wild like she's on all kinds of drugs. Is that ghetto? Nope. No, well, then, no. see, Robert, you black. I don't expect you to know right, no. uh, believe in right. You love wrong. I remember when you well, people. I remember when you Thomas. people voted for the mayor of Washington D.C. After he came out of prison for uh, uh, crack me cocaine, wrong. crack me cocaine, wrong. crack me cocaine, wrong. and black <laughs> don't crack. Marin, uh, uh. Yeah, I know you're talking about. Yeah, but you people voted for him like even after he came out of prison yeah. for crack cocaine because you people don't yeah. care about what I is right. His name. Uh, Whatever, that's I not important. You're black. Him, but, but don't identify with anybody or anything of the earth because if you do, it keeps you from identifying with God. What have I lied about? And the second thing what? is, Bit no, mama, no, no. bit mama, about? while being first lady. What have I lied about? What have I lied about? Listen, Robert. Listen, Robert. Bit mama, when being first lady, while first lady, she was dancing with a lesbian, Ellen, Ellen DeGeneres. So that makes her ghetto, also, huh? And, and I believe Ellen DeGeneres either picked her up or she picked her. I could be wrong. It might be somebody else I'm thinking of. And, uh, and that made her ghetto. Is right? that ghetto? Yeah. Is that makes her. That makes her ghetto. Yes. What is the definition? Have of you seen ghetto? any other like white? Have you seen any other white first lady act as ghetto as Michelle did? No, I'm not going to answer that question because I didn't you're think so. Play. Woe unto the man who call evil good and good evil. Woe unto the blacks who call themselves African Americans and were born in this country and are citizens of this country. What dummies, huh? You have to be brainwashed to be born in a country and call yourself another country. Sixteen hundred nineteen is when they landed here. So well, they, it was early sixteen hundred. Is that when the uh, blacks in Africa sold the blacks to the Arabs, and the Arabs took them and to the rest of the world, and sold them to the rest of the world? Yeah, probably. Even though blacks don't get along with one another, they can't trust one another in Africa. They, uh, they are. Uh, "Quote unquote," rich blacks sold the poor blacks and used them as money and everything else. Have you overcome that false sympathy for black people or the false guilt that you had? Are you over that now? Well, I, well, I mean, just the fact that I brought it up to you would probably say not completely, to be honest with you. You need to let that um, go. Forgive them for lying to you and traumatizing you. Because black people need love. They need people to be honest with them. I'm not your bitch, nigga. You act like my bitch. No, you act like my no, bitch. No, you act like okay. my bitch. You're complaining. And if they overreact yeah. to it, that's on them. Beta! Hang yourself, nigga. But they need love. They need the truth. But Donald Trump said black people built America. He's just saying that to get the votes. Well, you real life Uncle Ruckus, my nigga. <laughs> well, why are you calling me? Uh, why are you call me a Tom? I mean, a coon? Are uh, you want me to come help you? Because you talk down on us. No, I'm right about this one. I want the best for black men and women. I want the best for all people. And these black people who are wearing these awful looking froze, they bring attention to their head. Right, and you get they really just look a mess. Like they ain't comb their hair. They like dress from the from the neck down, but they forgot to comb their hair. They, black people say, girl, you need to comb your head. Go back in the house. They need to bring back the jerry curl. Jerry curls. I have a quick reminder of the jerry curls. Here we go. I used That's to wear funny. the jerry curl, and it'd be all wet. That was and, and in the winter, yeah. you get a, a cold from it. You catch a cold. <laughs> catch pneumonia. Because <laughs> you have wet hair all the uh -huh. time, and your pillow get all greasy That's and nasty. It. Man, you wrong for talking about your people like that, man. You shouldn't be doing but that, But I'm not talking about my people. What do they mean, my own people? Why should I identify with black people? Oh, Uncle Tom! <laughs>
person like yourself. So regardless, even if he did that, at the end of the day, if he were to kill me or I were to kill him, it's a black on black crime. So he's still somebody that is, even though he doesn't want to be, he's somebody that's considered my brother and my people. What? Are you a Christian? Yes, I am. Jay. So even so, are all black people Christians? No. And so and those those blacks, those blacks who are of their father, the devil, are those your people? Um. Well, no, Jesse. So That's how do you say that all black people are your people then? Well, because black people at one point had, had it really rough, you know, in the past, you know, in the past, in the past. Most black people have no idea what they are talking about because for the last 70 years or so, they have stopped thinking for themselves. They have physical, they look to physical leaders to tell them what to think, what to do, how to act. Oh, I can't make it because of racism. I can't make it because of sexism. I can't make it because of slavery. And they ain't never known slavery. I can't make it because of Jim Crow. They wouldn't recognize Jim Crow if he walked up and slapped him. I grew up under the Jim Crow era on the, on the plantation. We didn't have it rough. You didn't have a rough because you was uh, you was a house boy. You was a house boy in the house though. You were in the house. But boy. how am I in the house if I don't think like most black people? You 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 were not because you just you know you they they got you telling all the other slaves, but you still in the house though. You no, I worked the cotton fields. I plowed the fields. And you were. No, no, no. Uh-uh. Okay. But you telling on me because I I escaped the plantation. You don't like it. No, you didn't escape the. You telling all the slaves that's trying to escape. No, I escaped. How you escaped? You I, were, I was born on a plantation. No, you wasn't. You, you couldn't have been a slave. Most blacks today literally have a slave mentality. It's like if one black person gets shot by a police officer, uh, the, the thugs come out of the woodwork. We've been shot. I was telling Joy others more, remind me when I was on that plantation. And when my master say, he sick, I say, yes, sir, master, we sick. <laughs> I worked the cotton fields. Why do you say I worked the big house when I didn't work in the big house? You was the type of person, if a black person, it, it like... No, no, no. Why do you say I worked in the white big house when I really worked the cotton fields and fed the horses and cows and plowed the fields and brought the crop in and all that? Why do you say I worked the big house? No, I ain't say you worked the big house. I'm saying you was a, you was a house boy. No, I you didn't know, work I mean, in the house. The women worked in the house. That wasn't true. You, you was one I was out uh, killing hogs and chickens and riding horses and feeding the horses you, and all you, that kind of stuff. You was one of the ones that if a black person did try to escape. Or no, anything, I was out in the fields with the with the you field know, people. You go back and, and, go back and that, hey, seventeen. That only apply when black people hate black people like that. That only apply to they apply that to the people to the blacks. That worked in the house. They don't apply that to me who worked the fields. So you can't put that one on me. You need a new one. And then you always try to put black No, what are you going to say about that? I didn't work. You have a new one for me because I didn't work in the big house. I worked the fields. You worked the fields? Yeah, I was hot out there in the sun. Yeah. yeah, but you was, you was master's number one boy, though. No, no, no. I didn't even know the master. You, oh yeah, you was master's number one boy. No, no, no. Maybe no. I. So you can, go ahead, but go ahead. they I'm say that you. they say that only the ones that work the blacks who hate white people, they say only the ones who work in the big house with the master boy. And that's what you were. You no, I didn't work the big house. You got it backwards. Y'all have to oh, come yeah. up with a name for me because I don't so, have one right so, now. So you. You said you was in the field, right? Yeah. Yeah, but you was right on the master. You was master's number one man. man. No, no, no. My grandfather my grandfather uh, was the head of the plantation. Maybe he when, was when one. When there was a black child that made plans. No. Was, hey, 17. 17. 17. 17. My grandfather was the head of the plantation. We didn't get that close to the master. Yeah. Well... Anyway, I had another question. So you need a new one for me. That's not—y'all need to come up with one for 
that would go under my grandfather since he was the one that communicated with the master. It wasn't us. We were just working the fields. Black people, you don't own all black people. <laughs> what the? Yeah, this never... Black people act like they own all black people. They think they do. And if a, black person, if a black person should step out of black thinking, they'll call Uncle Ruckus, Uncle Tom, Tom like a mug. You, Tom like a mug. Tom like a mug. What's the mug part? What? That makes you a coon then. How'd that make me a coon? Because you don't identify with all that crap. Friend. And all that crap that they have talked to you about, white folks and history and slavery and all that, <laughs> that's not even important. Let that go and just live in, f- yeah, live in front of you. Do what's in front of you and don't identify with all that black crap. <laughs> all that black crap. Most black people cannot see. They think that they are a we. And they are not a we. They are one individual. It's a spiritual battle, warfare between good and evil, right versus wrong. I've never been associated as all my people. That's something new. It wasn't like that before the civil rights movement. Uh, When I was growing up, black people identified with anyone who were of character, and never mind the color. It never was known as my people, all my people. And then once you were born of God, your people are your brothers and sisters who have been truly born of God. That's your spiritual family and your blood family are those that in your family you were born of the same blood. So you telling me when you were in the Jim Crow era, you had a pleasant time? Yeah, we had family. We believed in God. We knew that there were good and bad all races. Uh, we had food and we had just, it was a hoot nanny of a time because prior to the civil rights, prior to the civil rights, prior to the civil rights, civil rights movement, black men led the way. They provided. They got married. No abortions. Homosexuality was not allowed to be presented as the norm. Black women did not lead the way. Black people thought for themselves as individuals. They knew what was right. They were not encouraging hatred, and they did not rely on the government. They relied on family and God. And then the Civil Rights Movement came along, which was a horrible mistake. And what happened was, at the time, most black people were Republicans, and the the Democrats, the Democratic Party needed them. So what they did under Linda B. Johnson, they made some type of a deal, and they said, hey, Lyndon, we want to get the blacks on welfare. And Linda B. Johnson, oh, okay, that's all good, but you have to vote for the Democrats, and you have to take the men out of the home. The blacks, so the black leader told the black people, okay, they ain't got to give it to you, but you got to destroy your home. Get the men out, and then we'll tell you how to think, who to hate, and why to hate them, how to complain, what to do. And the blacks went, oh, okay. And I can think of many things to call black people. Oppress is not one. It's only the generation after the civil rights movement who have been watching the black movies and believe the black so-called leaders. They are the ones complaining about back then. It's not the ones who grew up there. Isn't that interesting? No, it's, it's not interesting. It's interesting in that... I don't know. I think it seemed as though Martin Luther King started out with good intention. But when he allowed Jesse Jackson and all those people to get involved, I think it went off the rail. And people tend to do that. They pretend to be with you, but they have a hidden agenda. And I know Jackson was thrown out of the the organization several times because Dr. King could see that he was not, he had his own personal agenda. You know, you sit in front of people like Tariq Nasheed and that whole deal. I watched that video the other day, and I'm like... You know, we had a coon train. Oh, I'm going to ask you about the coon train. Am I going to win this year? I brought you an honorary (laughs) coon train award. Oh, cool. Yes. I brought you an honorary coon train award. And why do I get the honorary? Because you lost to Sheriff Clark last time. Can you hold I sure me? did. I was disappointed. Yeah, you can sit there and keep your calm through dealing with these monkeys, dealing with these people. <laughs> 
it just it, that's just a great example, man. I want to use that as a blueprint because I can't, you know, the way I've been and the way I, I am, man, I couldn't be in a room with, with somebody like that, man, with those antics after a while. Because, you know, this thing that we're dealing with is serious business with our people here in this country. It's serious yeah. business. Yeah. How they trained us to be, what they made us into. So many excuses. Uh, there's so much entitlement. We need this. We're not getting this. We need this. Uh, they're treating us bad. And if somebody, my grandparents always told me, if if you're not welcoming someone else's home, you wish them well, and you go and build your own home. They have a right not to want you there if they don't want you there. There's nothing wrong with that. That's not racism. That's not anything, but they don't want you at their house. What does racism look like? It's, it's hate. It, it is hate. So it's and hate, then, not it, racism, right? It, it is hate. So it's it not racism, hate. it's hatred, right? It is hate, and racism is just a word. It's just a used to identify. No, it's a hate. Type hate identify hate. what it is. Why do you need the word racism? Dude, the black civil, the black civil <laughs> right, the black civil right people did it by design so that they can gain power and wealth. The one thing that the children of the law had to do was to brainwash black people. You notice how the blacks have so many truckloads of excuses. Satan is their daddy. That's why they have excuses. They're liberals. They're socialists. They listen to the liberal media. They listen to the godless preachers and politicians and and the Democratic Party. Uh, the fallen Messiah, the dictator, Barack Hussein Obama, they got bucket loads of excuses. The blacks believe, and not all, not all, not all, but more. The blacks believe that white people are superior. And the proof is, and, and, and you can prove me wrong. Watch it, and then if you prove me wrong, call me up and say, Jesse, you are wrong. I saw it. Watch how they say how can black people have peace with so much racism against them? So let me ask, who, who is it America's fault that your parents decided to live in the project and have you? Is it the white man's fault? How are they holding you back? You said how are they holding me back? Yeah. Um, many ways, you know, job, app, job opportunities. No, it, it's America's fault, but not How is it America's fault, fault that the white man decide? How is it America's fault that your parents you decide to have you in the up. project? You don't, you, don't, you don't see how the system is set no, up? No, no, no. Like Tell that? me how you are born in whatever, you're early. How is it America's fault that your parents lived in the project and had you? How is it America's fault? It's America's fault that the project is set up the way that they're set up. And so you went, like. you went and started your own business? Yeah, I started my own business. I got so my own why business. not I teach own. black people that then rather than teaching them to be angry? But it's Satan giving them all these excuses that came from mama. They sound like women. Well, Come you down. Have a You're acting like a woman. Come down. You always consider me acting like a woman, but you, you're the pervert. But you're I, the pervert. Oh, Jesus. Amazing. His mother, Mel's mother, had a major impact on him. Aren't you screaming like your mother right now? You, why you bring my mother? Yeah, why, why, why you bring my mother up? Because you're acting you acting like her. Even talk, you don't even talk about your, your, your parents. Aren't you, what about your mom? But Mel, aren't you what acting like... your mom? You aren't, pervert? aren't you acting like your mother right now? What about your mama? All right, I got to run. What about... <laughs> <laughs> Long live mama. And this is the unfortunate aspect of being raised by single black mothers. Mel is an example of that. When he turned away from the father, remember how when Adam turned away from God, he lost uh, the mind of God. He was no longer stable in his emotions. He became very emotional and needy and worldly. And he was not able to keep the commandments. He developed fear and all of that. And at the time, I was dealing with mostly with black people, even though I worked with all races of people. Sir, you're out of order. Yes, yes, if you can, if you, I need to be removed. I'd like to request that he be removed. Sir, if you are going to... I would like to request that he be removed. You don't care please, about you. please be removed. I used to wonder why was the mindset of black men and women so messed up, so evil. 
and you can that they they can't communicate uh, completely. There's no they don't know how to communicate. They're very emotional. They're very angry and destructive, and and the idea of living upright is not even a part of their thinking. Now they go to church and they, and not all, but most of them go to church and they quote the Bible. They give money and they help around the church there. But as far as living it, they're not even putting forth the effort to live it. And I wondered over and over, why, 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 why? Well, because most black Americans have turned away from their earthly fathers, the same identical thing has happened to them. And Adam fell away from his father. And Satan convinced Eve to believe a lie, and she fell away from her husband. Blacks fell away from God. They fell away from their husbands. And the sins of the fathers are passed on from generation to generation. This is what happens to black children, and you wonder why they're so angry. They have mama's nature. She's passed that down to them from generation to generation to generation. Because they hate their fathers or have been turned away from him. And most of the time, they've been turned away by their mothers. Most of the time, they've been turned away from the fathers by the mothers and grandmothers. God's order has been reversed. And so for a long time, before black people fell for the lie, it was hard for the children of the lie to get their agenda across because at some point, black people said, uh-uh, I don't believe that. Uh-uh, that ain't godly. Now the black men, generation, generation of black men are like little women. It's not uncommon to see them riding in the woman's seat in a car and the woman's driving. It's not uncommon for a black man to cheat on his wife or for a black woman nowadays to cheat on her husband. And the kids know about it. It's not uncommon that the man is not working. The woman is working. The worst thing that is happening to black women now is that they're being educated. Black men cannot deal with them as they are right now. Uh, black women are almost impossible to deal with because black men hate their mothers. And these black right. women have become just like their mothers. And so when these black right. guys come in contact with them, they can't deal with them because they never learned to deal with their mothers. Can y'all be quiet? <laughs> 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 you shut the hell up too. <laughs> Tell us your names. Zamir. Uh, oh my God! I, almost yeah. forgot about oh, I missed that. I missed that the first time. <laughs> that is so black. <laughs> they will be all sad. White, white racist, uh, white police brutality. Shut up! <laughs> You yeah. shut the hell up, too. Because of people who claim that they're oppressed, they are evil, and they're oppressed by evil, but not by white folks or about uh, racism or oppression and all that. They're depressed because they're separated from God, from their fathers on earth and their father in heaven. Right. And I was like that prior to returning to my father. And when I returned to my father which allowed me to go through him to return to God, it, it changed my mentality. I can now see things clearly. And I can now, I'm stable in my soul. I'm not driven by emotions. I remember when I first moved to Los Angeles, I started listening to the, uh, the, the uh, race hustlers, the enemies of the truth like the NAACP, Jesse Jackson, and Maxine Waters, and all those people, and they were pushing evil, they were pushing lies. And I believed in that lie for a while, and they were thinking for me. And whatever they said, whatever the media said, I believed it. But once I overcame the anger, I came back to myself, and I thought thinking for myself. As a matter of fact, the beginning of me thinking again for myself, well, when I start to question things, if white people are holding black people back, why is it that these black people who are pushing this are doing well? Louis Farrakhan, 
the NAACP, the Congressional Black Caucus, and all these so-called black leadership, they were living high on the hog. Living high on the hog while saying that white people are holding black people back. And, um, and all the way black people got to get better in life, they got to have to return to the way they were prior to the civil rights movement. And that is they got to establish return to God. Hold on, Victor. Hold on, Victor. They need to return to God. They need to establish a family, a, a husband and wife with children. They need to drop the hate and love all people because you're never going to be able to love God if you don't love all. All right. It's, you think it, God loves all people? And it's not absolutely. He doesn't love you as you are, but He loves you. Do you love black people? Absolutely. Yes. Do you love more you love than people? you ever mm-hmm. know? That's you for sure. Jesse, you, you can always yourself, count on my love. Forevermore. Bye, Negro. Bye. <laughs> oh, Jesus.